Let's expand on this uh, in the company of Dr. Afiari Elmi, Assistant Professor of International Politics at Qatar University. Also specialises in Somali political affairs. First of all, uh, give us an idea why Somaliland has managed to remain relatively stable co compared to the chaos that there is not so many hundreds of kilometres to the south. Well, Somaliland actually has been stable for about 15 or 16 years. Uh, since I think 1992 and there are several factors that actually uh, help uh, this part uh, to stay at least in stable. One is that they had some form of identity which they wanted to uh, uh, mobilize and use against others, namely the issue of justice saving from the rest of Somalia. Uh, but also, I, I have to say that the politicians there has shown, or have shown, uh, some majority that whenever a conflict arises, they were able to resolve it or address it peacefully uh, from 1992 onwards. So, so the worry might be, uh, not just from a Somaliland perspective, but perhaps from an international one as well, that any efforts to knock that off course could destabilize the country and fall into the hands of people like the Al-Shabaab fighters, uh, maybe Al-Qaeda. Well, uh, the region as a whole uh, is an interesting region simply because there are, I mean, the state uh, system, whether the outside Somalia or within Somalia, uh, enclaves, uh, has never been or have never been strong enough uh, to have the monopoly over legitimate violence. Absolutely, that has never been the case. So, that, yes, the potential is out there. That and Al-Shabaab have tried to make inroads there. Well, but failed. at least according to the Somalian leadership, uh, the suicide bombing that took place a while back uh, was at least uh, a product or I mean, an act of al-Shabaab, and that's what they argue. In fact, a lot of them, you told me earlier, that come from there, the leaders. Well, yes, yes. And not only the leaders, but also some uh, uh, food soldiers are also coming from there. So, in general, Somalia uh, or Somali people uh, have some sort of homogeneity where uh, they can you know, associate with one another. So the relationship is far more complex than you know, one is from this part and the other is from that part. And I think uh, the potential is still there. How much has the international community put into Somaliland, which is not a very wealthy region, doesn't earn a great deal of money itself, how much have they put in to try and maintain this stability? I think uh, they have given some support not a lot, uh, mostly in development area. Uh, so my international community has encouraged and welcomed the peace and stability and also encouraged the development in the area of political governance, which in fact Somaliland is far ahead uh, from the, uh, the rest of Somalia. Uh, and, and are there concerns that the, the difficulties we saw in uh, Mohammed Ado's story uh, might destabilize the, the concerns actually are real. Yeah, there is the opposition feels that uh, the government is not interested in holding this election. And I think there is a lot at stake. Unless these elections take place, uh, there might have some problems. That said, though, I just want to, to, to qualify this and say that uh, if history tells us anything, the Somaliland leadership has shown that at least they could address and solve uh, with the traditional leadership uh, the issues when they arise. And the long-standing issue of um, recognizing Somaliland as an independent country, it won't go away. Would it help with that long-term stability, in, in your opinion, if, if it were given well, The international community status? was not interested in, in going that direction. And usually state formation comes either that uh, you have the support of the superpower or the two countries that want to separate are, are in agreement and neither exists in Somalia. Washington is not championing uh, uh, the, the secession of Somalia. Uh, it has referred back to the AU and African Union obviously for obvious reasons of artificial boundaries and so many uh, issues. They are not willing to open this debate. So I think as much as the international community encourages and uh, supports the development in the governance and security, they may not go toward the direction of, 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 at least that's what history tells us as of now. Dr. Elmi, thank you very much indeed. You'll keep an eye on affairs there. Come back and tell us some more. Good to have you on this news hour. Thank you.